guys, Jan here, North View Model Shop. Uh, today we're going to do a little different, uh, a little different video. Do about cutting devices. Um, I've purchased lately a couple different items, and I, before I use them, I like to try to demonstrate to what I got them for. Uh, first and foremost, the easiest and simple side cutter, right? Quick and easy cuts. I find for myself it's easier to cut the screws all up and do different trees all up into smaller components, and then work with them. Uh, these are just these are a snap-on side cutter. These are retail about a hundred dollars. And as a mechanic, I have these in my box, so it was no big run. But Dollarama, ninety-nine cents from all your cut and styrene. It's not a huge expense. So much easier. These, like I said, these are Cadillac, but a cheaper model would be just as fine. The next thing we use not often is the old exacto knife. But these are the most dangerous thing you can use because they get away from you quick. But you know, for doing the little things, right? You know, getting in there, kind of clean a little bit. You know, you're flashing and stuff. These are kind of brutish and crude, but they are effective. Star Trek reference there. Anyway, these are cheap. This is a 99 cent. You know, just this is garbage. I kind of make it work. Brand new blades. Uh, extremely careful with these uh, high-end quality blades. Are sharp, 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 sharp. And, you know, I've slipped fingers off doing carpentry work with this stuff. So, not a very useful tool, but when you're using it, careful. The next tool that I use almost religiously is the single bladed, single side razor blade. Um, best place to get these I found Napa. Uh, usually on sale, uh, nine dollars ninety nine cents for a hundred. These come. See, I've got one here. It's still packaged. I do. This is a brand new one. Comes with a protective little cardboard covering. Weave these on to your razor. And I found this is almost what I used. When I first started religiously, you know, blade down here, give it a little shot, open right up, no problems. These do dull quickly, like this, this one's knocked up, but, you know, for what we're cutting, these will last forever. So, there's that. Uh, notice this little unit here, this is a tester's exacto knife, modeling knife, with a little finger grip on it. I bought this, this was on sale for $4.00. And I don't realize why I was on. The tip is missing and the blade's galled up really bad straight from factory. So this, if you're going to buy one, be very careful and look at them close. Very precise, more of a more of a higher end tool. Uh, the only downside is of it, it's kind of, I don't know, it's for what it is, it's pretty cheap. The next step up is the Revell monogram uh, scalpel, modeling scalpel hobby knife, I guess you call it. This is a light duty knife, they call it. This is uh, very cheap at $10. Uh, I bought it just to try it. Uh, it comes with five blades, uh, a standard flying point, a general purpose, a carving, a mini saw, and a scoring and chisel. Uh, the mini saw is what I was really interested in purchasing with this, or purchasing this little knife. The handle itself is nice big round with the, with the finger grips. Looks Makes it look really good. The only downside is, like I said, that nine dollars plus tax is almost twelve dollars for this knife and here's the kicker this was ten dollars at the uh, local hobby store this was at princess auto for 99 cents and it's the exact same knife uh, the handle itself is smaller but made in china uh... made in china and probably made in the same factory this has exact all the exact same blades and the upside of it is, is I know for a fact, talking to old man Peterson as the taxidermist, he tells me that the number 10, and it's not in here obviously because it's your most common blade, but the number 4, you can buy them, but the dozen for a couple dollars at uh, any tax shop, any hobby store, uh, feeds, uh, sugar grain, sells these, the, the, uh, the new nut blades, and uh, I think uh, Princess Auto had the exact same refills. 99 cents. So, I guess the moral of the story here is uh, just don't buy the name brand if you don't have to. I mean, the, the name brand Revell's nice, but uh, the Power Fist is the exact same unit. Uh, Snap on, beautiful, but, you know, Osamoto Tool or whatever, Mastercraft at Canadian Tires, beautiful tool sets to buy as well if you're looking for side cutters. So, that's what we got for our cutting devices. Uh, the most important thing from this video I'd like to pass on though is when you're cutting, be safe, keep your fingers away, always cut away from you if you can. Be very cautious of these things because they're sharp as hell and they hurt like hell when you cut a finger off. So 
remember guys modeling's fun but if you cut yourself you're out of commission for a while so have fun play safe and we'll see you guys next time